What's up everybody? I hope you all had a good weekend and you're having a great Monday. But we got we got some stuff to talk about today. Got something that probably you're probably not gonna like. So in my last video I talked about things that were overrated that were like on a list. But I had a lot of people that were asking me things that I personally thought were overrated. And without even thinking twice, the answer to that is Instagram. More specifically though, Instagram fitness pages are heavily, heavily overrated and they just spew out all this content that has absolutely nothing to do with fitness whatsoever. And these accounts post pictures of half-naked girls, throw on some like inspirational caption and call it fitness motivation, I guess. Oh, and I almost forgot. They also always have a link in the bio that will take you to their page, I guess, their their fitness website that offers extremely overpriced uh, supplements like protein you can buy at Walmart for like almost 60 bucks or really, 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 really bad fitness programs that you'll probably hurt yourself on or it's just a bunch of like lunges and squats. Like you can find better stuff if you just Google, like, fat loss program or whatever. Now, just, if I just search fitness on Instagram, I'm sure I'm going to find something here. But I'm going to look at the most motivational accounts I can find. And basically all they do is they market sex to sell you things that you don't need by filling people with insecurities by showing you half-naked pictures of girls. It's basically what they're doing. So I'm going to show you the first account that comes to mind here, and the name is Jen Settler, who I believe, I, th I think a couple of the people that I follow follow her too, and she has a whopping 12 million followers. 12 million. And as I scroll through her page here, I mean, it's got pictures of her doing push-ups and lunges and squats, and then there's more squats, and there's a picture of her stretching and her butts here, and the more and more I look, it just... <laughs> you realize it's just pictures of her ass, which is the perfect theme for a fitness account, right? I mean, everybody wants to see pictures of a butt. That That is the epitome of fitness and working out. She even posts videos of herself working out. I mean, if that is inspiration, I don't know what is. Who doesn't want to watch a girl's ass while she's doing squats and lunges? I mean, I'm already feeling motivated to do a bunch of pull-ups and go for a jog, I guess. I don't know. In all fairness, though, that video apparently was a request because it says here that a lot of you have been asking me to post more workout videos and I got you. I mean, we all know that the only people who want to see that specific video are a bunch of 12 year old boys or a bunch of like 50 year old men who don't really understand that when you post something on the internet, Everybody can see it, so they post some of the creepiest things that you could ever imagine. Like, if somebody said this to you in person, you'd probably want them arrested. Not only that, but this video doesn't actually show anything to, like, help you work out. All it shows is her just working out, and it's basically just zoomed in on her ass the whole time. You can't, like, it's all, it's all eye candy. It's all fan service. And there's nothing inspirational, motivational, educational about this whatsoever. She's not even telling you what the exercises she's doing in the caption. She's just, it's just showing her ass do squats and lunges. And here's your motivation for you. Hopefully, you know, you don't feel like crap because you don't look like this and you never will because I'm not even telling you that like my ass probably has implants and I'm not going to tell you what this actual workout even is. It's just like two second clips of me doing different random exercises. Now in all fairness, Jen does have a profile link that takes you to her website that looks really nice and she does have different workouts on there and you of course you know you have to buy them and I'm sure that they're all you know I mean they're probably decent-ish workouts for girls at home or body weight exercises you can do at home or like basically they will get you somewhere because doing something is definitely a hell of a lot better than doing nothing and at least this will get you to do something so now we're going to take a look at another account I think the name of it is Squats Po, Squats Poo, um, something like that. 
But basically what they do is they take pictures of really hot girls, mostly just pictures of their asses, repost them, and put hashtag motivation, fitness motivation on it, because what's more of motivation than a picture of a girl's butt? And motivation means that you're giving somebody a reason to do something or to act in a certain way. And basically all this account provides is pictures to make people feel insecure about themselves. To, I don't know, I guess insecurity could be a motivating factor. But most of the time, like, if you scroll through these comments, it's all pretty, like, sad. Like, girls saying, oh, now I feel fat and ugly. And then there's the guys that are on there that, again, I'm pretty sure they don't even realize that the rest of the world can see what they're posting. Otherwise, I don't think they'd be posting some of the stuff that they say. And I totally get it. Instagram could be a way of making money for a lot of people. And if you have the body, I mean, post it up there. But make yourself a model page or something like that. Don't call yourself a motivational page and then post pictures of nothing but your boobs and your ass, which are probably, I mean, not sure, but they're probably fake. And then call it motivational or inspirational because all you're going to do is you're going to make everybody who sees this completely depressed just so that they buy your product because they think it's going to make them look like you. So basically what these accounts really are, instead of fitness motivation, they're really just the perfect marketing scheme. They take something that you don't need, but in order to make you feel like you need it, they make you feel insecure about yourself. So then you have to give them money for it. And on top of it, another way how they make you feel insecure for like any of the girls that watch this that, you know, aren't in the perfect shape like some of these girls are, they see the guys that are leaving comments saying just nasty things that you shouldn't be saying openly in public, probably. And these girls see this and they think that that's what guys want to see. So they think that's what they have to look like in order to get attention from a guy. Also, I know that the accounts that I showed today are mostly about women. But guys try to do the same thing too. It's just guys are less like The guys have a less likely chance of being noticed if they post a half-naked picture of themselves on Instagram as opposed to a girl posting a half-naked picture of, her, of herself on Instagram. I mean, that's just the way it goes. If you look at a picture of a guy with, like, the body of a god, he's going to have maybe a couple thousand likes. But some of these other girls, they have, like, hundreds of thousands of likes. And like I said, Jen Setter has 12 million followers based solely on pictures of her ass. And Squats Pro isn't even technically a fitness page. I mean, it's just a page about girls asses that's all it is that's literally it they don't offer any fitness advice they don't answer or offer like any like exercises they do even less than jen settler yeah i mean at least there's pictures of her working out which i mean that counts for something but all they're doing is taking pictures of models that aren't even natural that aren't even fitness people like, they're not even in the fitness in industry, and they're posting up there, basically trying to make you feel like you need to look like this. Like, this is what the perfect ass is. If it doesn't look like this, then no. And I'm pretty sure some of these pictures are probably airbrushed, too. Like, now this isn't every single fitness page. There are some that are pretty legit. Like, there's, I think it's called Tone It Up, which they post actual videos of them exercising that aren't just eye candy, and they post like pictures about meal recipes and even though you know it's a sponsored video at least it's practical which is pretty cool and there's also keenan's Graham who posts pictures of how to do exercises correctly like the right way and the wrong way which is probably the most important part of fitness make sure you don't go and kill yourself while you're trying to get healthy now don't get me wrong because i enjoy seeing pictures of these half naked fitness girls just as much as the next guy but if you're looking for fitness motivation and for some reason you decide to look for it on Instagram and you search fitness motivation or inspirational fitness, you're going to get pretty depressed about all the extremely good looking people on Instagram. And the last thing you're going to do is feel motivated. And if you guys have a subject you want me to talk about specifically, if it's something that you feel like is overrated on Instagram or even YouTube, 
go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll check it out and I'll probably talk about it in an upcoming video. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know. And if you want to see more in the future, subscribe too. And I'll see you guys next time.